Hi everybody, I'd like to give you an update on Jerseys for Jersey. Uh, my son and Eric and I are going to head to the Schaumburg area near Chicago, Illinois uh, to drop off 77 boxes um, of garments that have been donated in one week. That's nearly 4,000 pieces. The, the response has been absolutely amazing. Within 48 hours of me thinking about doing this, and granted, you know, Skyward Promotions has donated to uh, Hurricane Katrina down in New Orleans. Uh, when the uh, tornado hit Joplin, Missouri, floods were in Nashville, Tennessee. But I want to do something a little bit different this year, uh, when this particular uh, Hurricane Sandy came through. So I developed the phrase in the campaign, Jerseys for Jersey. Now granted, we'll take any kind of donation, any kind of shirt, which we did. We got blankets and all kinds of things from people, sweaters, jackets. 75% uh, of the things that were donated this week were brand new and never touched. Within that 48 hours, we put it on Facebook, we put it on our website, and we emailed it to all of our suppliers and all of our customers. It went out from there. I called an old friend of mine, Jeff Wilmarth at Silver Arrow Express, and I asked Jeff, I said, is there a possibility that we could sort of piggyback and hitch a ride on some of your um, shipments that were going out east? And he said, unfortunately, about four, five years ago, they changed into a full load trucking company. So they don't take a load somewhere unless it's a full truck load. But he says, here's what I will do. I will forward this email and your campaign to the secretary of our organization. It's all the other traffic managers of different trucking companies. And maybe somebody can help you there. Well, one of those members forwarded it on to a logistics company in Schaumburg, near Chicago. And within literally two hours, he called me and he goes, this is what I understand that you're doing. And I said, yeah, you're right on. He says, if you bring me two boxes or if you bring me 2,000 boxes, it does not matter. We are already hooked up with the Red Cross and we will take it out there free of charge for you. So that's where we're headed today. Uh, I was hoping that it would be a great campaign if we would fill the Skyward van with clothing. Well, there's no way I could fit all of this in the Skyward van. Um, so we rented a truck, and we're going to be taking a truck into Chicago, which is fantastic to be able to get that many garments in one week. Um, Swedish American Hospital, and people that we don't even know, and Northwest Bank's COAT program, and just so many other people have jumped on board with this. Um, like I said, 75% of the garments that were donated are absolutely brand new and untouched. Uh, these blankets came from, they're brand new, they, the, the, the reception ladies up front at Rockford Christian Schools made these, made two bins of them. I think there's about 24 of them. Um, when I sent the sheet of paper in to school with my son, I said, give it to each one of your teachers. What they do with it, it's entirely up to them. So he gave it to his PE teacher. And his PE teacher said, you need to take this up to Coach Carpenter. So he did. Took it upstairs. The guy said, timing is everything. We are currently cleaning the closets on every jersey from every sport we have in the school because we're buying new. Pretty incredible. We filled the Skyward van with that donation alone. It was incredible. When TV23 came in, just 48 hours after we launched the campaign, the, one of the questions he asked Sandy and I was, why are you doing this? And we both said without hesitation, because you know it could happen to us. It wouldn't be a hurricane, but it would be a tornado, or it would be another reason. You know it could happen to us, and how would we need help, and how would we want other people to react? And that's exactly what we're doing. Everybody jumps on board when there's a system, when it's easy to do, and that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to make it very, very easy for them to do. The other thing that sort of evolved over the week, not only people's generosity, but the realization that if you feel that tap on your shoulder to do something, pay attention to it. Because you will get back tenfold whatever you put into it. And it's just unbelievably fantastic. I sure do appreciate your help. The situation will still continue. The shipment that we're taking in today on the 19th of November 2012 is just phase one. So the other people that are contributing we will have a phase two and a phase three because these people in Queens and Staten Island and Jersey Shore, they're going to need our help for a long, long time. So thanks again, and we'll see you on the next update.